Norm from Tested. Welcome to the amazing test. Bricked. It's the last episode. Theoretically. Wow. Yeah. Hell or high water. We started this, what, four four weeks ago, it seems like? This is technically episode 22, so yeah. almost five weeks ago. We've had some good times, Norm. We've had some I times, don't remember those. Norm. <laughs> All I remember is sitting in a tiny room getting more and more irritated as the days progressed. And then that was just in my head. I don't know what happened with Let's you. Uh, we, don't, we didn't prepare a highlight reel. No, we don't have a clip last reel. Minute. You know, while I was out sick last week, you could have totally done that. That would have been a good thing for you to do with your time. For those of, uh, for those of you who join us for the first time, not knowing wow. what this is, yeah, good luck. I'm sorry. Uh, we're building Lego. So yeah. we so came we, up with the, this idea. You came up with this idea. This is all you. In December, yeah. our friend Gary would have had a Lego party, and I went to his house to kinda build like some Lego party. and kind of got the bug. And since then, uh, we we bought these, the biggest sets. Stupid, the, stupid, so stupid big Lego. These are the biggest Star Wars sets you can buy right now. Right. So uh, Norm's building the Super Star the Destroyer Super Star Executor. Destroyer. Or Exec Executor, it's depending it's on how you Executor. say it. Executor. Uh, it's what, 3,000 pieces? 3,182 pieces. It's designed pieces. for 16-year-olds. 16 and up. Yeah, so you're, we're in and up. Uh, I'm working on the Death Star playset. You can see it here in all its glory. Uh, I, I seem to be about maybe three quarters completed, you think? Maybe a little bit more than that? 75%, 75%? Yeah, it, it is truly a place. Uh, um, wow, you have your figures. Wow. Well, they were piled on. And oh I, my put, goodness. I put these on. You have a diorama right there. Yeah, I have, it's, it's like uh, you have the, a, emperor, the Emperor is fighting Darth Vader mm -hmm. and Luke Skywalker. What are those? those the guards, the Imperial guards. Just but look, watch it, it okay. collapses. Wait, I did it the wrong way. Oh my god, they fell into the hole to their doom. Uh, so, there's, there's a little railing where Darth Vader can throw the Emperor down the hole. Uh, down here is the place where Luke Skywalker and Princess Leia can swing across. I, I don't know if anyone can see that right now. That's unfortunate. Um, we'll, de we'll definitely demonstrate that uh, yeah. in a little bit. Um, but uh, over the past month, we've been racing to build. So It's been a really dumb race. Well, it's been a pretty fun race dumb for the most part. is what I would say. See, look, um, they swing. Whee. We've been racing to build Lego. Traditionally, when you build Lego, you don't really you try to enjoy it as you build. It's something we, you savor. We haven't really been doing that, enjoying the build at all. We've no, been, uh, it's the opposite of that, I would say. Kuba behind us has uh, given us challenges. Don't you mean Vinny? Um, I thought we were blaming Vinny for the Kuba challenges. Kuba is Vinny. Okay. Um, and uh, if you've watched, we've had challenges where we had to basically build with many constraints, one eye in the dark. Yeah, the dark um, one was pretty dumb. Uh, uh, the C-3PO arms, together, where, we, where arms. we put the, the rulers, we couldn't bend our arms straight. That was yeah. hard. And we orig well, originally well, conceptualized this as our, it's an, it's an endurance run analog. No, no, we never said okay, that. Okay, no, it's, it's, it's an amazing it's, test. Right. Uh, what was your favorite, what was your favorite um, challenge that we did, Norm? The handcuffs? No, that was my least favorite You kind challenge. of imploded on that one. I didn't implode. I have either. the handcuffs here if you want to try it again. I don't want to try it again. Really? Uh, my favorite one, my favorite challenge was a C-3PO challenge. That was uh, that pretty was, silly. That was silly and fun. You just like that because I got arm hair ripped out at the end. That, that did yeah. not hurt at all. Okay, so uh, no time today. Yeah, we're just going to build until build, we're done. Yeah, traditionally we've built for 30 minutes. Vinny's bored. I'm and I guess we'll just build. Uh, He's playing copyright music. We're going to... Oh, my God! And it's live! What's happened? Let's go, build. I've got... I'm in bag seven now. You're still working on six, right? I'm my just, book is 221 oh, no. pages. I'm on page 182 of this massive book. Oh, that makes me feel a little bit better. I only have three bags left. The side challenges, which we completed, I don't, oh, we, we took away the, uh, the, the, the X-Wing and the TIE Fighter. They're over on um, the side there. Maybe someone Wes or on the side, maybe we can bring them on camera for us. But I, I'm building the hull plating for the Super Star Destroyer right now. Keep, keep talking, Chan. And uh, keep I think talking. You ha while you haven't resigned. I'm fucked. There's no way. Well, you haven't oh, resigned sorry. the uh, competition. Pe people ask that we keep the cursing to a minimum because a lot of people are at work still. Oh, okay. So, and really in plain. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm just it's something to keep in mind. Um, I think it's a you know not a good idea, but I think you've resigned to the fact that you're not going to win this. The question I have is, what are you going to do for the two uh, hours longer it's going to take me to build mine once you get done? Stretch. You're 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 enjoy. You're doing some grasshopper moves. Or are you going to savor these last bits of the build? Take your yeah. time. I'm going to actually enjoy this. I'm on step 15 of this uh, first hull plating, first side, and it's page 182 if you want to follow along. I have all my pieces here. We have a shared bowl of extra pieces from uh, the build. Those are the, some TIE Fighter X-Wing builds. Mm -hmm. uh, the fun part about that one was we split up all the pieces uh, and mixed them all up together. So, uh, you know. Yes, that was the fun part That was part what I thought was the one. fun part of that one. 
I have a lot more pieces left than you do, I think. Just eyeballing bags. Yeah, I would agree. Uh, and by a lot more, I mean, you know, we didn't do a weigh-in at more. the end of uh, the last. Uh, we didn't need. Well, you you had worked a little tiny bit, but so no. I'm I'm close to ninety percent done, just from weight. Okay. And I think you're a little behind. I am way behind. I'm in a bind. If I was, if my name was Charlie. Hey, look, here's a black piece. You were looking for those yesterday. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start building. I'm on page 208, step one of bag seven. Now, um, uh, Gary is I'm, also running a... On, don't, I don't want to promote Don't this. give props to his pirate feed. Yeah, why not? He's pulling audience. He's pulling ratings away no, from no, us. No, no, no. People can multitask. They're not on, on oh, iPads. I don't know. Gary is running some color commentary right now on his Justin TV channel. That so I think if now? you go to uh, Justin TV forward slash uh, G Witta, he, he might have tweeted it. I think I retweeted him. You can uh, follow along. It might be a little delayed. If you don't want to listen to us is what you're saying. Uh, but because we're also doing this live, uh, we are taking questions. We will take questions periodically from the chat. We have Wes in the office Thanks right for coming now. Thanks for coming in, Wes, by the way. To some to run questions, um, and I might take a bunch of questions near the end when I'm done. Yeah, I'd say that's probably a good a good use of your time, if I had to guess. I would say you should be thinking now about what you're going to do when you finish, and you have some time to kill. Like, are you going to go get me beers? I'd be okay with that. That's something that's cool. Not going to happen. Um, if you, you know, free hugs, maybe. If you get people in here, give them free hugs. Um... I don't know what else could you do with your time. So what, what? So what we normally do during this is we just talk about what we've been doing lately. Yeah. Um, last night I went home. Okay. And I took. Did a you play some SSX? Two-hour nap. Uh huh. And then I watched. I played a little tiny bit of SSX, and Gina was like, "Hey, I'd really like to play SSX." Does Gina also like SSX? Gina, G SSX is one of the first games that Gina and I played together. Okay. This is why you're buying two copies of SSX. This is why I'm going to go buy another copy of SSX on the way home tonight. Wow. Is because those bastards have me. Um. It's a very good game, but I really miss the couch multiplayer. I think that they really messed up by you taking that You mean split screen? Out. Split screen, yeah. Oh, this build is so easy. That must be nice. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of those pieces. I want to give a shout out uh, to one of our. Wow, you're already into the shout out phase of the show? Yeah. Okay, Rick D's. Shout out to one of our uh, readers, uh, Zombies. Oh, he's been doing those comics. Yes, he did a new one today, oh, this morning. I, I saw it this morning, but I didn't get to reply to it. Really good. Uh, what, which one? Hold on, which one? What, what was it? What was the theme? Uh, we had uh, the three on. Maybe somebody on. could just post it in the chat. Yeah, actually. it'll probably be in the chat. Um, it was like it was poking fun at us, as I recall. No. Gentle fun. It was light all ribbing. Dark gray? The dark gray, light gray separation problem is is. A continual problem. Are you, are you out of material that we're going back to episode one? Huh? Conversation topic? No, no, no. I'm just, I'm just talking. I, I am out of material. I, I think we're all out of material. <laughs> yeah. The one. lesson of this is that if you're, if you're relying on conversation to carry this kind of a show, <laughs> you really need to uh, think what? far in advance. What? What? I don't what? know what's what? happening. I don't here. know what's happening either. Patrick walks over and starts laughing, which instantly makes me nervous. I think Vinny's been watching this whole thing, just thinking about all the horrible things he can do to us. With glee, joy in his heart. Now, we, we didn't talk much about Lego yesterday uh, during the podcast. You didn't want to. I, we're talking about, we're, we're going to do, a, we're going to talk about behind the scenes on Lego next week. On, oh, this is only a test. okay. We're, we're going to wrap the, the, up. The big reunion episode, yeah, it's, right? Yeah, it's, it's, like it's like the after, uh, behind the magic. Okay, I like that. I like what's going on here. This isn't bad. I'm going to um, lose track of where I am. One, two, three, four, five. A lot of repetition right now on my part. That's I'm just building this long piece right here. It's like a damn rifle. But actually, it'll go on top of the Super Star Destroyer as the hull plating. That's very cool. Um, so what did you do last night, Mr. Chan? Uh, I watched a movie. What did you watch? Uh, watched Attack the Block. The uh, dance movie? Isn't no. it a dance movie? It's not a dance movie. What's Attack the Block? Um, it's a British... Uh, comedy horror film. It's about uh, kids who fight aliens who invade hmm. uh, their apartment block. Okay. Um, and it was quite good. Ooh, that's good. 
Um, anything notable happen? Like weird effects? Is it a modern movie or an old movie? Yeah, it came out last year. Nick Frost okay. is in it. Nick Frost from uh, Shaun of the Dead. Yes. And he plays oh, a like drug dealer. That's not too far off the truth, right? I mean, not that I'm saying well, he's a drug dealer now, but he seems like the kind of dude who may have been in his, yeah, in his he, past at some point, you know, sold a little something something, pay the bills. And uh, and then after that, we watched some uh, YouTube on the Xbox, which... Wow. Yeah. Big night, kids. Oh, yeah. YouTube on the Xbox. You guys are getting into all sorts of trouble over there. I don't, I don't know if that's a good idea. Um, this part, this build is going much quicker than I anticipated. Yeah, I would say you should, like I said, think about what you're going to do with the extra time you have at the end of this. Because I'm just building floor. I'm really curious about what the, the color commentary is, oh, is you right want, now. I, I don't think you on, want to on, know on that. On the Witta channel. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that's, some things are best left unknown. Mixler does a archive, so you can go back and watch it mm. again later. Um, so, you're kind of off the Lego. You, I mean, this is... This might be you it from the for bug. me. This is this is sucked all of the joy out of Lego for me. Well, for me, it just made me even more into Lego. Stronger than you could possibly imagine. Something like that. Uh, I don't know. I, I bought the. Uh, I don't think I mentioned it on the podcast, but I, I bought the Japanese submarine. The yeah. See, when you, so when you said you bought a Japanese submarine, I was thinking like World War II era submarine. No. Not what you actually got. You actually got like a research submersible. Yes, like something that James Cameron would want. Yeah, it's super cool. Yeah, it's from the uh, Kusu. What the fuck uh, is that piece? Website. It's the same site that got the Minecraft. So they do uh, like specialty kit. Legos. Well, stuff, they basically. they let users vote. Um, Basically, doing a, a customer survey, vote on what uh, and what MOCs. <coughs> my own What's creation. What's an MOC? My own creation. Oh, that's weird. Um, it's a weird word. I have a lot of really custom random pieces in here. Which ones they'd like to see turn into real Lego kits? And this is the first one. It was originally a Japanese project, but Minecraft is the first American one to make it through. Okay, so I followed the recommendation of a reader or viewer. Okay. who had said, you know, when you're dumping these bags out, what you're supposed to do is put all of the bags, each bag, in one bowl. That is terrible advice. I'm just going to get that out there right now. I'm just dumping everything on the table, which also is a bad move. See, I, I stopped using the bowl method because the bowl is deep, and digging through the yeah, bowl... Yeah, it's a, it's a bad mistake. Uh, it takes time. I actually just set out sections of my table to represent that bag that's, and that's laid a, out flat, and then it was easy to pick stuff up. That is a good strategy. That's the well, exact that's why opposite I'm winning. of this strategy. No, that's not why you're winning. Why am I winning, Will? You're winning because you got the TIE Fighter instead of the Oh, uh, okay. So has, has the bitching commenced? No, the bitching's not commencing. I'm just saying, you asked why. I'm telling you why. It's why? very straightforward. No, I don't think that's why I'm winning. I think I'm winning because I'm the better LEGO builder. Uh, yeah, do we want to take a question from the chat? Uh, Wes, Let's take any, a question anybody asking chat. anything good? Sure, yeah. Uh, Liquid Swords wants to know what were the hardest sections of your builds? The to most work difficult on? sections of the build for me. So you're saying there wasn't a hard section of your build, Norm? The most difficult section does, of the does, build was building the superstructure, uh, this piece right here. Um, for me, not only because uh, it required a lot of tiny pieces, but at that point, that's when Will jumped ahead. Uh, so you started freaking out. And so I had to catch up, and that's when I developed the two-handed building, picking up pieces <laughs> and building method, because it's fairly symmetrical. Superstructure. Um, huh. No, I take it back. The most difficult part of the build was when I was looking for one piece in my build that I wanted to have, but I couldn't find it for oh, 15 minutes because oh, so this is how someone it's took be. that piece and put it in their uh, own their own bowl so you, you, uh, you, for 15 minutes and held it there. What you're saying that is when I said, part hey, is this the piece you're looking for? And you said no. Then I went on and put it back in my bowl. That's the part that you had a problem with? Yes. Just, just good the, to the know. The part where you took my piece three times. Didn't take it three times. You took three I don't even know what you're talking pieces. about. You don't even know what you're talking Which pieces did I take? Watch the recap. Across both the last two videos. Why would anybody watch this? I don't want to watch this. It's really boring. It's just people sitting around building Lego all day. <laughs> Where? What on earth is that in the background? Vinny, Vinny is mad with power in there. I don't know how I have so many pieces left when this looks like it's almost done. 
Probably have to do another layer or something. Now, I, God damn it, I saw those pieces just a minute ago. Uh, now, to be clear, I am actually missing one piece. I never was oh, able Oh, right, to you find. borrowed from the future. So, and I didn't steal that one. And that will come back to me when I get to my bag sevens. Uh, but I do have the shared bonus uh, piece pile, which I'll be able to use that to make up for. I had a piece that was missing, too, if you'll recall, from uh, uh, when I was building the control panel thing. And, so. uh, and how are you uh, recovering from that? Uh, I replaced it with three one by studs. So I found a an analog. You know, it looks like they're supposed to be gray spinnies. All right. Oh, what? I'm hoping that you're going to hit something really, really There's difficult here at some point. Oh, boy. I don't think so. I think I, it's, I don't it's think smooth so sailing here on out. Dark gray or light gray? Light now, gray. because people are watching the slide, they can also call out uh, if we're making mistakes in the build. Perfect. Um, I don't think that's going to happen. Good news, everyone. Uh, any, what else is going on in the chat, uh, Wes? Anything exciting? Yeah, Waffles wants to know, uh, what have your favorite LEGO <coughs> sets been to build, uh, either including these or sets you've built outside of the competition? Mm -hmm. Um, good question. I really, I, I quite like the X-Wing. I think it's pretty good. Well, you did build it four times. Yeah, it's five times now. You did build it five times. Well, I hadn't built it five times until yesterday. Um, have you, uh, have you looked at your instructions and stuff for the, uh, I really for the submarine? That VW bus that we built that first the night VW was actually bus quite is good. Really, really fun. Um, Gina pointed this out a long time ago, and I think she's probably right. The Star Wars oh, kits are yeah, not I the think best the VW kits. Bus. I, I like the VW bus a lot. Um, the Imperial shuttle that, oh, cool, um, that chair spins. me, Wes, and our other housemate Evan built um, was fun, but uh, a little frustrating near the end of the build. Well, there were some technical um, challenges there, as I recall. Like the mechanics of those wings were a little tricky. And the X-wing is, I mean, it's like it's sixty dollars on Amazon, and it's a little cheaper on. Uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> What's going on? It's a little cheap on Barnes and Nobles. Oh God, Gary's live. <laughs> Why is Gary putting a hood on? There's something we need to know about Gary. I'm a little nervous now. <laughs> um, this is awesome. <laughs> weird shit is happening here, people. My weird shit. Have decided that Will is shit, <laughs> and Warren shall be the victor. <laughs> Thank you, Gary Witta. Why do we give him airtime? I'm going to fire him from the podcast. That's it. Gary's out. I don't, think, I don't think you knew that. You don't fucking pay me. Pay me, then you can fire me. Maybe, maybe I'll fire you. How are you going to fire me? How, is, how lagged is this, guys? Gary, I really wish you were here, Gary. Yeah, we, we miss you, Gary. It's good to see you working hard in your Yoda gonna, bathroom, I'm gonna, though. I'm going to fire you from my voluntary podcast charity. Where I show oh, up man. I free content for, for free every week. Well, but we get what we pay for, in fairness. So, Now, I'm Gary, you fire. also have one of these. I'm going to make you fire yourself. Oh, wait, that... hold on. The Force has a strong influence on the weak-minded. <laughs> what? Oh, this is, this is terrible. Yes, that's it. Getting close. That's what you want. Yes, Jedi close up. I feel, feel weird pressure in my mind. Flare, I don't know what's going on here. Flare down at will in my Jedi eyes. Yes. <laughs> They're not red. They should be kind of more yellow yes. and evil looking, Deal with Gary, it. I think. Oh, my Hold goodness. On. Jedis don't really wear glasses, do they? They don't. They wouldn't be no. Excited. No, they, no, they have, they have vision. Jedi LASIK or something. Well, Yoda just comes in and bends their corneas, so everything's right. Yeah, it's the first Tessa Jedi uh, of Padawan. You think a 900 years old Jedi's uh, Yoda's eyesight would be pretty shitty? You think? Well, he doesn't need to use his eyesight. He just uses the Force. He's fucking Yoda. That's but, right. Yes, your eyes can deceive you. Don't trust them. Oh wow, that's <laughs> weird. See? So that was. That is proper. That is that is the correct uh, way to be. I think in the expanded universe stuff. This is kind of even... freaking me out now. I was kind of enjoying hanging out in my own little kind of pirate stream, as Will said, but now I'm like actually in the mainstream. I feel kind of self-conscious. 
Yeah, it's a little, it's a kind of an extreme close up there too, Gary. Uh, so what are you are you into anything fun today, or are you working all day? I didn't ask for that. I'm not really sitting that close. Is that a nostril? That's your that's your buddies in the control room. I I I don't encourage this I don't behavior. Know what it is. Now they're doing some weird stuff. What are they doing? This is more riveting content from Whiskey Media. Um, well, F Beans, where this is this? This is great. Piece? Thank God this is the last episode. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. There's a reason oh, we decided yes. to do this live. Jedi Flames. I was, I was just about to do that. Is Jedi Flame a real power? I don't remember that even from any of the video games. I thought what happened to the true Jedi powers, I thought of Will's head on fire, and it okay. happened. I, I don't, I'm missing a piece. And I know Lego no, scratching never makes is not going to help. You can't scratch out the flames of, of the Force. He's lagging just enough to make this really, really uh, difficult to uh, interact with. <laughs> yeah, just really uncomfortable and bad. Yeah, yeah, it's awkward. It's like when Mr. McFeely Staying comes over to Mr. Rogers. Production values. Well, you know, we have a certain standard to maintain here. These are our brand values. Yeah, uh, our brand values are bad uh, web streaming and um, building children's toys in the office during work Oh, hours. I'm so close to back seven. My question is, where does the internet go after this? I, <laughs> I don't have any idea. I don't think anybody can ever do anything that is... I mean, this uh, is it, right? A little more... Like, if you wanted to make something that was more tedious than watching somebody assemble 3,000-piece Lego kits, I don't know where you're going to go to do that. I, I don't stand by th this idea. I have the IM chat logs. My IM. I could watch one of your jars videos. <laughs> That's true. I could watch one of your jars videos. No, you can't. It was deleted. Oh, you deleted it? No. Why? What did you say? It's so controversial that you had to delete it, Gary. I'm doing a little sorting here. I can't. I can't. I can't live in an unsorted. You have so many well. pieces. My, my I know. Just, like, just on TV. <laughs> oh, earlier today, going to lunch, uh, I was telling. Wes and Thomas, I was worried that there would be a come How from, in the hell were you worried? From behind that this is one of those epic will trolls. Did I not tell you? I told you that no shit, that I was so far behind, it was almost this is this is what's happening is you have the completed Super Star Destroyer Executor, and I have the unfinished Death Star. Episode this is the one. end of Return of the Jedi. We shook hands. I know, I'm not, and we I'm said not bitching. That yours was 14 plus and mine was 16 plus, and yes. regardless of the I dramatically underestimated what I was getting into. I thought it 800 would be pieces equal. was would a gap equal. that would be closable. Hey, Will, that looks like a shitload of pieces. Thanks, you Gary. Still got there. Your input is, is appreciated and, and welcome. Okay. Oh, Mine's extra pieces, good, even. Look at that thing. It looks great. Yeah. Oh, boy. You guys want to take a question or two from the chat? Yeah. Why not? If people are asking questions, sure. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll take care of these. Christoph Romanov yeah. wants to know, if you could choose any spaceship that isn't currently in LEGO to be made into a set, what would it be? Um, hmm. Uh, the Normandy. Really? Yeah. Wow. Is this, is that is obvious? this tweet sponsored by anybody or anything? Do you need no, to but that's, it's kind clear of obvious, some right? advertising? I, uh, the Normandy is not the ship I would pick. Really? No. Say more controversial things. What? I don't not like Mass Effect. I think Mass Effect is awesome, but I'm not going to, you know, that game's coming out next week. They don't need any more free press. Hey, Will, tell me again about how Uncharted and Firefly suck. <laughs> Thanks, Gary. <laughs> I feel like that is pretty well established terrain at this point. Not getting into it. Okay, so now there's a more knob here. Base. Why does this knob go, does it go through that way? Oh, no, and I am done with... Then. With one one side. Oh, I can get some awesome effects on the air. Don't give him awesome effects. Okay. Oh, that looks great. Look at that. <laughs> well so, done, Norm. So I've finished a quarter of the next level. Get that cum face away from me. <laughs> quarter of the next level. This is pretty uh. quality content here. I think this is like a, a, a the room where C-3PO and R2-D2 hide in A New Hope is supposed to be. Wow, I need six hands to complete this operation. Really? Is that what it says? On page 197, it shows six hands putting on this piece. You need some help? Nope, I got it. How, do you have six hands now all of a sudden, Norm? 
Wow, you need six hands to do that? Okay, I need the blue. Well, I need to press down on it six times. Oh, okay. I kind of imagined that you would put those pieces on one at a time. I didn't realize you would put all the pieces together and then put yeah. it all in one big piece. Yeah. I'm going to slide this I was over. hoping he'd put them on one at a time. That seems like it would take a lot longer. The contrast could really not be greater. Norm with his one big piece and Will with his countless little 45 pieces. 45 million tiny pieces? Yeah. I just, oh, I just want to know what Norm's going to do to fill time while I'm finishing. Little pieces. You need to worry about yourself. So many hours. Don't need to worry about me. You worry about that Death Star? Oh, this is interesting. So should we talk about some of the challenges we didn't get to do because my immune yeah. system sucks? So we had a big list of challenges um, that we're planning on doing. That we created together, working as a team. Sure. Or they were approved by both of us. That's true, too. Oh, oh this, this is difficult. You're really taking this difficult thing too far, Norm. No. Serious. Come on. Okay. So yeah, what were, what were some of the challenges? Well, we were gonna put up a ca put the instruction manuals out here one day. Uh huh. And then have to run back, uh, and, back forth. and forth between the rooms mm -hmm. uh, without carrying the instruction manual so, but, you know, for each step. So we could you know, carry as much as we could remember. Um, but if we couldn't remember much, then we'd have to keep going back and forth a lot. So that was kind of fun. I liked, I liked the idea where someone else had the instruction manual and they had to yes. talk you through the instructions. So we had a challenge. Uh, we called it the Avatar Challenge. Yeah, that one was pretty good. And that was where Will and I could not touch any Lego pieces, but we had the instruction manual, and we would have avatars um, build for us. Yeah. Couldn't do that one because I was sick. Sorry about that, guys. This is probably just making it worse, isn't it? Um, we had the, uh, let's see, I'm putting on a floor here. This is exciting stuff, guys. More riveting content. Have to stand up. Doesn't look like it's in the right place. Oh no, that's right. It would be unfortunate if you had to go back and do everything over again, Norm. That would be unfortunate. Oh, so cool! Well, it's really scary. Oh, Jesus! I just knocked off a flower. In the outside corner, yeah. Let's enjoy this. Okay, now into my bag sevens, page one ninety-eight. So just to be clear, your bag sevens, how many, how many bags of bag sevens do you have, Norm? I have three bags of bag sevens. One okay. of them is tiny. It's great. More good news. Whee! Will, how much, once you put the other, no, once you put the other side on, what do you really have left? Because it still like, looks like you still do have some small pieces. Nope. Once I put the other side on, that's it. I'm done. He's done. This right here, the, uh, these are the extra pieces that Lego's provided. Uh, but that we have from earlier ah. bags, from uh, the X-Wing and TIE Fighter build, and I'm gonna actually use these pieces to fill in for that one missing one by six piece. Um, There's not any one by six pieces in there. There isn't, but I'm gonna use five one pieces to, to fill in. Think that'll work? Yes. You gotta keep those extra pieces for your MOCs. Right. What's MOCs? My own creation, I said that earlier. Oh. My own creation. Thanks, Gary. The best thing about this is that Gary's usually just late enough that he comes in like that guy. Oh, God. Don't spill stuff, Norm. Okay. Just, just like when I'm actually there. I might be here five or six hours. This could take me a while. I've got a lot of building left to do. Yeah, guys, I actually only have until 3.30, and then I have to go do real stuff, so I may have to leave you. Oh, my goodness. That's unfortunate. Well, I'll have time to, to show this off. It's true. Should Make be able sure to. I would worry about it more if I felt like the, this could still go either way. If there was, there was a competition at all, in terms of who was going to win, I'm not going to rubber band it. Pretty obvious at this point. But I am going to take yeah. my sweet time. Uh, yeah, I would take it. Why don't you go have a break? Go get a beverage. You know. No rubber banding. No rubber banding. Yeah, you could relax. Go yeah. visit some friends. Maybe bring some people into the office. Give I'm them a tour friends. or something. They're they're watching right now. Uh huh. I mean, isn't there some sort of you comic book convention or something this week that you could go uh, hang out at? In the, in the end zone. 
got to be some GDC meetings or something like that. Something, you know, some important stuff going on. Good grief. There's supposed to be eight Did of these? Did you guys ever establish any kind of prize for the winner or penalty for the loser? For the prize thing? for the winner is the knowledge of a job well done. <laughs> oh! The, lo the penalty wow, for know, the that's, loser. That's the best prize ever because it's free. Yeah, exactly. Just an apology is the best thing ever because it's uh, free. Apologies are good. I don't know what you have against apologies. John Cleese uh, knows the value so of a good apology. what do you get, the knowledge of a job poorly done? Where the hell is that one? He didn't have to build Lego for that. He got hung outside the window by a Kevin Klein, so. Okay, oh, hell beings. Yeah, this really is uh, not very difficult. Yeah. The end. You don't say. Are you getting messages or is that me? I'm not. Probably my wife is tweeting and saying, man, you are really fucked. <laughs> Thanks, honey. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, do we have any questions from the chat, Wes? Is anything going on in there? Is, are people like bored and zoning out by now? Or talk, they're probably talking about Mass Effect, if I had to guess. Somebody did actually post a custom uh, Normandy Lego model. And, mm -hmm. Okay. You know, I have to say I was skeptical of Norm's choice, but this thing is incredible. Oh, now, like the ones that people built are really cool. Don't get me wrong on that. I just think that the... So uh, what's, what's wrong with... I don't think there's any need for a kit. I think that's, one of the, that's an MOC. What? Look at me busting loose with the lingo. Uh, but yeah, we've we've got some. Yeah, questions. but what about for the rest of us who want to build it? Yeah, I think that the, I think that if you are serious about Lego, you should MOC some stuff yourself. There's a ton of resources on Bricklink for people who want to get into that. It's Will expert of Lego who is now no, also no, no, no. forsaking Lego. I just went and read because I I wanted to get a, an Ultimate Collector Millennium Falcon, and I don't want to pay three thousand dollars. Oh shit! So why why don't you have faith in Lego building? I just need to take set. a break. I need to take a little bit of a break. No, why don't you have any faith in Lego building their own? Well, I think it's Normandy. more fun if you figure out figure it all out yourself. I think that then you have some real pride in building, whereas this is just paint by numbers. Really? It's kind of my feeling. So uh, okay, all right. So user break asks, do you guys think they'll ever bring back the massive Lego Millennium Falcon? No, uh, no, no. They don't bring stuff back. It seems like that that would be unprecedented. Now I'm building a bunch of stuff that I've never seen in any of the movies. This seems like extra pages that Norm made just to screw me over. Oh, I gotta build the I've gotta build the tie advance still. Oh, good grief. So Will, what do you think was the was the turning point? Because um, for the first ten or so episodes, a lot of people felt like you were you basically had this in the bag. So yeah, what that, happened? Mm -hmm. That's a good question, Gary. Um, I think that the thing that the thing that uh, changed was the latter half of mine is all small pieces and the latter half of Norm's. I thought that the superstructure and the engines were gonna take a lot more time for Norm than they did. Um, and, and that's pretty much it. Like, I think that that was the And yet you're the one who the prepared. Difference. I thought you said huh? preparation was uh, your forte. Uh, I thought that uh, looking and seeing how this would go together, I thought I was probably gonna be okay, but you were very fast with the superstructure. So, I mean, I don't know if there's anything I could have done to beat that, given the detail work that is involved with the, with the remainder of mine. Oh, they've got the Lego Normandy up on the green screen now. Oh, that's pretty oh, cool. cool. Oh, wow, that is pretty cool. I saw that somebody, uh, somebody tweeted that to us a few weeks ago. Thought that was pretty neat then, too. And that's the SR2. Oh. That's, the, that's the bigger one from Mass Effect yeah. 2. Yeah, some people, uh, you pre-orders, I think you can uh, start downloading that right now, preloading it. Which one? I got an email oh, from Amazon. Mass stuff? Did you buy from, uh, from? I bought from Amazon. Isn't that this? Don't you have, just get a code? You that just works get a on code it? for Origin. Weird. But buying from Amazon means that um, that I also get uh, ten percent or ten dollars off my next game purchase there. So you basically keep on oh. buying games from Amazon. You stack that's a good, those. That's a good find. I actually, because my save is on um, Xbox and I can't be bothered. Well, and they won't let you use a control a gamepad on the on, on PC? The PC version. You're playing. I'm playing on Xbox. the Xbox, which I can't. I, I'm wow. like I had gone through the whole process and pulled the save out and all that to to pull my Xbox save and make it a PC save, and then I um, I'm going to play on the Xbox anyway, which kind of bums me out. But since they're not doing Xbox saves, Gary, what are you doing? Are you playing PC or are you playing Xbox? 
and now we wait to the lag. I'm gonna go with Xbox, and in fact, I'm a little, um, I'm, I'm kind of hopeful, but a little nervous that my my collector's edition may or may not arrive today. I know I've seen other people today getting theirs, but I don't know if I'm gonna get mine. Oh man, that would be nice. That's, you, that's really early. You have an extra weekend to play. Yeah, I was pretty bummed out that I got sick two weeks before Mass oh, Effect yeah. came out instead of after else. Mass Effect came out. Oh, what a great weekend that would be. <laughs> it's supposed to be really pretty out this weekend. Perfect. Is no that one on you, the internet? Yeah, do you find that a good, uh, a good sunny weekend helps you enjoy a game even more? Because then you know you could be outside doing something fun. Mm -hmm. But you're trapped inside instead? Trapped? Well, you know. Okay. Uh, do we have any questions from the chat, Wes? How's it going in there? Yeah, we've got. What's the mood? Are people excited about the end of Bricked, or are they sad that it is finally coming to a conclusion? Are there people any new are, viewers who don't know what they're this having is? a lot of fun? People are talking about Mass Effect and all kinds of Lego stuff. Okay. Um, Hayes wants to know if either of you are interested in the Minecraft Lego set. Yeah, um, I'm probably going to buy one. Yeah, it's thirty-five dollars, uh, which is reasonable. Uh, I think about four hundred pieces. Uh, it is modular, so the four uh, quadrants of that world, um, you can connect them any way you want. And while there is a uh, set design to uh, each quadrant, um, the pieces are pretty versatile, so you can kind of design your own landscape. I, I could see people buying four of those sets and just making their own little Minecraft uh, you know, plateau. I just want to point out that right now I'm building a TIE fighter, a TIE advanced. Um, which is, wasn't that what your side challenge was? Or you built a TIE fighter, I guess. Yeah. The TIE Advance is actually uh, the first thing I built at Gary's place. And but that you, kit is actually a rare now. Is, is that the, the, is that a U, UCS one? No, or no? it's not. Well, it seems like Darth Vader's entering the building. This is the kind of thing that I, I really am glad. Wow. Super fun, pretty cool, dude. Uh, I'm really glad that we didn't think to hire a birthday Halloween Darth Vader to come. Do and people do that? Visit the set. Yeah, you can hire Darth Vader to go to his birthday. But those people, I don't, like they, the parent who not, does that, they're I, not licensed though. Um, I, I don't think they get any certification from Lucas. I, I gotta say, I think that the person at the costume rental place that probably also rents clowns and strippers. Uh -huh. Doesn't care if you, Lucas you can rent gets clowns and strippers from the costume rental place. Usually, uh, not always. I know you can rent a stripper. Well, yeah, you hire a stripper, I guess. Okay. So for the the, the uh, one stop shop for all your party needs, right. party guests. Needs. Right. Party Central. Okay. There's all you, sorts you of stuff. You can get a dude to come. You think they get someone who you know? The maybe not. Maybe dancers. Maybe dancer is the appropriate term. Maybe here. you get a Darth Vader stripper. I could be. The, wow. Well, you see those. You see those Lady Vaders at Comic Con. Yeah, why not? I, I think that'd be a so booming growth industry. Business. Yeah. I think Lucas might try to shut you down if you did that. I'm not sure. There are so yeah, as many long as you cut him the commission check. I don't know. I think that goes against their family. But I just wonder, like, when a parent hires Darth Vader to come to the birthday party, mm -hmm. do they realize? I mean, I guess now they do. But when I was a kid, people would hire Darth Vader, and they'd never watch the movies, but their kids loved them. And oh, then the kids would be must... scared shitless. Well, it depends how old the kid is. Well, right. I guess at a certain age, you're not going to enjoy that anyway. That's so, true. Uh, but by the but at the age that you would enjoy having the right, Darth Vader, having Darth come, Vader as, where your parents would think that you would enjoy Darth Vader, yeah, it'd be as a guest, fucking terrifying, uh, or be awesome. Yeah, depending. You know, the kid was a badass. Yeah, that's true. I don't think I'd ever had clowns or. Oh, uh, hey, Gary's Gary's back off mute. The control room turned him off because they got tired of his nonsense. Oh wow. I'm, I'm sorry about that, Gary. I'm that wasn't our decision. That was all Drew. Yeah, I'm sure that's what happened, Will. <laughs> hey, everybody knows exactly what well, I've I said. I actually wanted to ask you a question. Yeah, go ahead. I, I regret <laughs> I regret this already. What's your question, Gary? So now that this thing is, is drawing to a close, yeah. you've done like 20 or so episodes. Yeah. What would, what, do you th what would you do differently looking back on this knowing what you know now both in terms of your approach to the competition and and your approach to presenting this as a piece of entertainment to your audience um i probably would have done the main cabinet instead no i, I don't regret this it, at all well right of course you don't regret this at all 
Oh, so you just um, wouldn't have done Lego at all? I would have done something else, I think. Wow. I think that this is, uh, I don't How know. very war games of you. Huh? I, I, I just, I mean, I think, I don't know. I feel people, people have bought a you, lot of Lego kits as a result of this. If you were winning? Huh? I, yeah, exactly. Maybe. I might feel differently if I was winning. God Do you damn think it. you'd be feeling differently if you were winning? It's possible. I mean, it's impossible to say. Norm, why don't you go take like 45 minutes off and come back and I'll tell you how I feel. Um, I, I don't I don't know. People bought a lot of Lego kits as a result of this, which I think is really cool. I'm glad that we like introduced we created some new adult fans of Lego because I think that's pretty rad. So there's like definitely been good stuff that's come out of it, but it's taken a lot of what time. What would you have done differently? We, did, we created many fans of Lego. Yes. Oh wow. What the fuck is why does this not fit on here? Oh, maybe it just goes on like that. So I am now at the part of the other hull plate uh -huh. where I was. It's, 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 at the beginning of this marathon of the final episode. So Great. however long it took me to finish. That's how much is left. Is that's all it's left. You should go do a I victory lap or something, Norm. How many pieces I have left just by eyeballing the table. I have I have an idea for a fun project for you. Fifty pieces left. Why don't you count the number of pieces I have left? I'm gonna, I'm gonna move them around, right. around a lot. I have way more than two hundred and fifty pieces. Uh, no, it's so refreshing to be able to see you in the home stretch being able to, to build that's the best part. in at a relaxed pace after you, you've been harried and, and hurried along by Will and his psychological mind games this yeah. whole time. To see you being but able now to kind mind of games. cross the finish line comfortably is, is, is very, very refreshing. It is. And uh, what I've learned from LEGO, so what, first what I would have done differently, I think... Um, the contest was a bad idea. No, no, no. The contest was a great idea. I, mean, I think the contest was a bad idea. One of the idea. best episodes of Seinfeld and a great idea here too. Mm -hmm. I, Go ahead. I would have been in favor of maybe more challenges. I would have changed up some challenges a little bit. Um, uh, what else? Maybe I would have built the X-Wing instead of you building the X-Wing. Turns out that might have been a good idea. That sounds um, really scary. But what I've really learned is with Lego, especially building a, a kit this big, is that you really learn the value of patience and uh, it's, it's like the old proverb of you know taking down a mountain. If you take it down one shovel, one, one bucket at a time, you can uh -huh. eventually get to the end of it. And now I see the end is in sight, the finish line. Um, and it, it makes me fearless. I can do anything now. I, I just got to start the project. You, you should go take a nap. No. I think a nap is a perfectly reasonable thing to do at this juncture. No, I'm, I'm an adult fan of Lego. Um, if I had this to do over again, you know what I would do, Gary? Um, I would do the same kits for both of us. I think that would have been boring as hell. I think then we would have had to do challenges every single yeah, day. Yeah, I mean, we talked about that earlier, right? I mean, it would, it would, it would be more equitable, but it wouldn't really be as interesting. Uh, I think that I think you might be surprised, but it could be, it could be super boring. You are correct. I think it would have been super. Boring. I think the onus is then on us to make it more interesting. I think if we did it that way, we would have both oh, rushed. It's, that's, I think Vinny must have found a soundboard, a Star Wars soundboard back there now. Um, oh, uh, okay, it's not Vinny, it's, I'm told. It's Star Wars in my pocket. We deploy only the highest quality technology. You have Star Wars years. in your pocket? Multimedia experience. You know, I have a tchotchke. Uh, I should have brought it in. Uh, it's do. on my desk at home. No, I'm just pleased to see you. Uh, it's, it's, it's one of the few tchotchkes I keep on my desk, but it's oh. a small little Death Star. And it was for a Star Wars Empire at War, I want to say, is the name of the oh, game. Oh, I remember that. Uh, it's a small little Death Star, but has a little red button. I press it, and it does the Death Star uh, destruction beam sound. Really? It's fun just to push that from time to time. Yeah, do, like, do you do that when people oh, are in nice. your room, and you're done with them being in there, and you want to move on? No, no. That, that, that goes away when ladies come in. I wasn't talking about ladies. Oh. Although that would be a good way to clear yeah. ladies out of your room. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, um, remember, the force will be with you, always. Thanks, Ben. We're still cool, right? Um, I think by the time you finish with your, with your build, if my math is right, I should be almost done with the tie advanced. So, you know, got that going for me. I don't think that this tie advanced is actually big enough to put a tie fighter pilot in. Is that you, Gary, still, or is that somebody, uh... Oh, you know what we should have done? Tony. 
Tony is at Disneyland right now. Oh my God. We should have got a Jedi Training Academy correspondent report. Oh, that would have been fantastic. From, uh, from Disneyland. Because he's, he's there with his daughter, and I think. Uh, oh, look, it's a Force Ghost Will Smith cum face. <laughs> that is fantastic. <laughs> That's that's uh Norm, even though you have struck Will down, he has become more powerful than you could possibly imagine. <laughs> oh. When I last saw him. Darth Santa. I, I, I was I was but the learner. <laughs> um yeah. That's your Sith name from now on, Will. You will now be known as Darth Santorum. Oh, Dude, what? that is not appropriate. <laughs> not appropriate on multiple levels. It's actually a pretty good dark side name. Well, I think, I think it it's already sense. I think it's already taken is the problem. Where the hell does this go? Oh, it's on the underside. And those two guys, okay. But even though I may win this competition, I may win this. Uh, you may. You, th you, you think you, you might, finally have it locked in? You you might have uh, you might have the upper hand at the end uh, because you get to play with your set. That's true. I do have a toy. Yeah. Whereas you have a, just something that you can put in your living room something to, look to at. tell uh, no potential touching. dates that just to look at. Yeah. No touching. Some some poor woman walks over and tries yeah. to say, "Hey, does this open up? Is this a play no, set? No, no touching. No touching. Mine. Right. And then and thus ends the Chan Dynasty. <laughs> so sad. Um, okay, so that's this guy. It's all right, I got brothers. That's true, you got two brothers. Plenty of opportunity for little chance. How about some questions from the chat, guys? That sounds perfect, <laughs> thank you, Wesley. Bricks by the base uh, too. So user Kalofi wants to know, if you could build Lego with any Star Wars character, who would it be? With? With. Well, alongside. Like Together. as your helper, instead of Norm here, have somebody good, like hmm. Admiral Ackbar. As a rival or as a helper? Hmm. Let's see, as a helper, I think I would want. Um, that's a good question. I think as a helper, I would like the Rancor monster. As a rival, I would like uh, R2D2. No. No thumbs. No, no, no. Maybe Chewbacca. Well, no, you don't want Chewbacca as, as a rival. Yeah, you don't want rival. Chewbacca as a rival. That could uh, end real bad. I want a Jedi for sure as a helper. Really? I want the Jedi to be able to pick up pieces of hand and put them right in my hand. That seems like it would um, take a lot of energy, though. No, come on. Uh, Hold on, do you think the Jedi could just look at the pile and pull it out without being able to find it? I think they still have to find it. Yoda, they just picture sure. it in Yoda their head. could stand on the table mm -hmm. and just lift up pieces and juggle them and put them in my hand. Uh, as a rival... Um, God damn it. Oh. Yoda's old and crotchety, though. He might not want to waste his time with such nonsense. Well, wisdom. Well, okay. Fry. Yes, spry. The rival. I don't know. Maybe C-3PO. Yeah, C-3PO is an easy rival choice. Yeah. Because, you know, mentally challenged. Okay. Uh, user, I don't like the sound of this giggling coming from the other side user of the User Akabuto wants to know, did you guys build Lego as kids? And if so, would you just dump out lots of pieces and do your own custom builds? Yes. Uh, yes, that's yes. exactly what I did. Yep. Uh, because I, I don't, I, I actually think I only got hand-me-down Lego. Um, <coughs> oh, so you never had a, a, see, I never had, I never had anything that was like, I mean, I might have gotten a castle playset, but never, you know, never something that like you had plans for. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely remember the Sherwood Force set, and I had a lot of those uh, little arrows, bone arrows, and I loved Robin Hood as a kid, uh, so I would play with play with that. Because you like stealing from the rich, and wow, it was aspirational. Well, something magical happening back here. Don't try. I don't know what's happening behind here. us, but there is an X-wing, and a, there's there's battle happening in the skies True above. Jedi. What we're, where we're sitting right now, there's Man, bad, <laughs> bad they craziness. They could be much, much faster. Well, no, it's a, the, but the yeah. trick is the camera moves, you know. That's the... <laughs> it's a, it's that's a regular the ILM. Wow. Oh, no, not my ear. This is, this is, uh, this is real science happening here today, folks. You're, you're privy to something. Oh, oh my oh. God. Oh, no. No. <laughs> 
Wow, so at least one of us put together our pieces well. What is that? Well, the, the that Empire always terrifying. loses, Gary. That's that's what happens. That's my tie fighter! If you put it together better, it wouldn't have fallen apart. Uh, by the way, you may want to be interested to know a lot of people are saying they're getting site server errors. Okay. Uh, hey, top men, the site is busted. That is so uncool! Where are the top what? men? Yeah, I, special effects, man. Sometimes TIE fighters get blown up. It's the way it is. <laughs> Disappointment. If you'd put it together better, it wouldn't have fallen apart. That's that's the real takeaway here, Norm. Oh, is that a is that a, is that actual Star Wars merchandise you're wearing, Gary? Or is that your Kirk robe? It's not your Kirk robe. Yes, this is a Yoda robe. This Why is do you know what? Okay. This is not Why mine. do you know what bathrobe the Jedi Gary robe has? is mine? She wanted the one with the Yoda ears. Oh. I, I think better the Yoda bathrobe than the Yoda backpack that everyone wears. I'm not a fan of that one. Oh, no, the Yoda backpack's a little weird. I mean, it'd be great if you were yeah, a kid. Yeah, I agree. I think, well... This is isn't there... my favorite. My favorite is my Captain Kirk Star Trek robe. That's yes. the best one. Is it, like, Kirk length? Is it short? <laughs> that's more, that's more uh, Zap Brannigan style. Well, no, Kirk's no, robe. It's like a, it's like a bathrobe. Oh, it's it... a regular bathrobe. Okay. <laughs> it's Kirk length. But you know the the bathrobe that Kirk wore on the show, I don't want to it's say just it. Kirkified. It was a little short, yeah. Uh, did you see him on Fallon the other night? He was on. He's eighty. I didn't realize. No, it's that. not like one of those awful bathrobes that are, that goes down, you know, just below your yeah, genitals. Like yeah, if you bend over the wrong way, you know, it's like a micro mini bathrobe. Nobody mm -hmm. wants that. Mm -hmm. It's not a good look for dudes. So you, yes, you, nobody want nobody wants to see that. You're a believer in the full length robe, I guess, then, Gary. Now, does the robe mean you don't have to wear anything underneath yes, the robe? Fully. I, I, um, do you, I well, don't wear do bathrobes. Do you have a bathrobe? No, I don't wear bathrobes. Yes, yeah, neither do I. No, I have towels and I have really t-shirts and might be getting a little too personal. Am I supposed to have three of these or four? Four. I should have sorted. You know, the other mistake I made was we. Sh I should have. I should have pushed through when we were saying we were going to sort all the bags in advance. Because if all these pieces were sorted, I'd have a much bigger advantage. And that was something you pushed for. I started to slow down. Well, we ran out of tables was the problem. Um, I started to slow down when I had to start opening these late bags and sort them as I went. Because I didn't realize how few pieces you had in the, toward the end. We're talking strategy. Oh, the TIE Fighter is repaired. Well, that's something. Thank goodness. Where is that piece? Okay, I'm going to get a... Wow, that was a mistake. I think I think this is so awesome that you actually destroyed the Whiskey Media servers or something. Uh -oh. It's too much, too much fantastic content. Chat still alive? Wes, uh, any qu questions? Yeah, we've got a few questions. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll take the question. If you refresh the Steam, that's pretty much it. Uh, so, what intellectual properties would you guys like to see Lego fied in the future? Mm. Uh, I think Battlestar Galactica would be really cool. There's a lot of cool ships you could build. Um, I know it's kind of late for that at this point, I guess. Um, I don't know. Uh, Transformers? It's Star Trek, they have that Mega Blocks or uh, whatever. I, I don't know how they could do Star Trek, like the Enterprise. If it wasn't this big, the They'd saucer, have to be huge. Yeah, it's, it's, too, it's too circular. Uh, I love science fiction, so something from the science fiction wheelhouse. Yeah, I like the science fiction stuff much better than the than like the other stuff. But that's that. I think that's a personal preference for me. Um, than anything else? Yeah, I, maybe Transformers. Um, I don't know, but then they. I don't think they'd be able to transform though. Do you think? I don't think they'd be able to transform either. Yeah, see, it'd, it'd be a creator series. You could build it. Use it. That would be the challenge, right? Mm, that would you be could have cool. the same number of pieces. Either build it as a car or as a robot. Would you go with classic Transformers or the bullshit new ones? Uh, classic. Well, somewhere in the middle. Transformers Prime, maybe. Mm. That's what the kids like these days. Really? What's trans I don't know what Transformers Prime is. That's a, a like CG show. Prime. It's on the hub. You're watching a lot of the hub. Describe what the hub is, Norm. We talked about this on the podcast. Yeah, I know, but not everybody listens to the podcast. This uh, is the kind of... If, you, if you've never listened to this, is only a test. This is the kind of riveting material that we discuss on a weekly basis. The hub... Three or four hours at a time. Is a channel, cable channel, that broadcasts not only... Uh, classic shows like Laverne and Shirley, 
1966 Batman and cartoons like G.I. Joe and I Transformers, Morgan, Gen 1, but also a few new shows. And in the Bay Area, it's Comcast Channel 813. Batman is on at 8.30 every night, just half an hour. I like that. You don't Ow. get a full hour. You have to actually watch every day. Um, and it's, it's great. It's great, wholesome programming. Really? Would you describe 1960s Batman as wholesome? Yeah. You got civic lessons. There are civic lessons. There seems to be a lot of sexual undertones in that show. There's a lot of people getting tied up and held hostage. Yes. Which is a big fetish thing on the internet, I'm told. And the, uh, the henchmen are really well dressed. They all have well, like sweaters. Course. It's pretty and... wholesome, but I remember as a kid having some very strange feelings watching Julie Newmar as Catwoman. Yeah, I mean, of course. Julie Newmar is a fox more than a cat. I miss. I don't see the fourth one of these pieces anywhere. You freaking out over there? No, I, I, I know how this is going to end. I've seen the script form. So now I think I'm about to use a piece that... I had missing, so I'm gonna. Oh, when you borrowed from the future, I'm gonna use this piece to make up for it. Can't do that. Uh oh. Hmm. Problem solved. So Norm, I don't think it's too. I don't think it, we're we're jinxing things too much by by saying we should probably uh, figure out when we want to collaborate on Tower Bridge at some oh, point. That's right. Yeah. I, oh, I'm ready whenever. That? Tower Bridge. That's the that's the reward. Oh, nice. Does that that's the reward? The reward is I get you uh, get to help. The so prize. If the, I had known that I got to help Gary build Tower Bridge, that would have changed the entire race. I would have gone out and bought an extra Death Star and practiced building it a few times, so that things like what are happening right now, where I have no idea where this piece is, would not happen. Would have been worth every penny. Where do, do you see this? Do you see any pieces like this one? It's got this weird thing on the end. I've never seen one like this before. I've been looking for it for about fifteen minutes now. I don't have it. Are you sure? I'm. I didn't take anything from your side. Uh huh. Feel free to look. <sighs> well, this is one I don't think I can engineer my way around. Uh oh. Yeah. I think he's got to keep on looking. I mean, that's that's the tough part of building Lego. You know, I'm gonna you start just, sorting. Yeah, sort. Yeah. Should have done that a while ago. There's a lot of gears and stuff in here. How are you doing, Norm? Is that it? No, 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 no. I'll let you know. You'll know. Oh, I'll know. You'll know when I'm done. Sweet release of death. It's getting close. Don't you worry. Norm, have you have you figured out where you're going to display this when you uh, when you're finished? <coughs> you have a case coming, right? No, I don't have a case. Um, I. I, th I think I know it's going to be, uh, I have a, a mantle on top of the fireplace in the house, and right now it's filled with board games, stacked board games. So it's a, I have incentive now to uh, store those board games somewhere, um, maybe in the closet, and put this on that mantle. Really? You're going to put it on the mantle? Yeah. Why not? No, yeah, I'm not so saying it's a, it's a real bad conversation thing. piece. Yeah. <laughs> it's just real, just no touching. What are you going to do when kids come over? Do you have a... Does anybody who lives in the house have kids now? No. Okay. No, no, no. Kid, well, that, kids... It's, a, it's not a kid-friendly zone? No, it's choking hazards. I just wonder, like, when... Well, I mean, you guys have a kid on the way. Are you going to lock the Lego the, room the with the kid? The conversation will be when you bring a girl over and she says, What the hell is that? Call me a cab immediately. <laughs> I'm I sorry, cabs don't come out to this part of the city. <laughs> <laughs> But I do have uh, some unopened Lego kits you want to build with Star Wars me. Dead yeah. of geekdom. <laughs> um, so there was a lot of talk about the Big Bang Theory yesterday on the podcast. Is is Leonard Nimoy going to be on the Big Bang Theory? He tweeted this morning something. I didn't know Leonard Nimoy tweets. What? You didn't, yeah. No, I, I don't follow. I don't follow Star Trek people on Twitter. I follow Lavar Burton, I guess. Yeah. Hasn't he been? Hasn't Leonard Nimoy been on it in the past? I don't know. That seems familiar. Maybe that's what he's referring to. I know he said he retired from acting. I wasn't deliberately trolling when I said on the podcast this week that I'm starting to enjoy the Big Bang Theory, although I have enjoyed watching the various fits of geek rage in, in response. Yeah, that, people got really upset. I'm a traitor to the, to the nerd cause by, by admitting that I enjoy that show. 
Well, I, I think that's somebody a fair... described it to me as as nerd blackface, which seems like a bit of that's. A... I think, I that's, think that's, that's super offensive. That's really offensive that you would even compare it to that. Right. I think that's... that that's going too far. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's, it's like what the heck? This is the depth of feeling that, that nerds have. I mean, it's not like we're Ted dancing over here. Oh. I don't have this piece. It is not in here. Uh oh. What's Ted dancing got to do with it? You know, he he got in trouble when he was dating Whoopi Goldberg for going someplace in blackface. Really? Yeah, do you not remember that? was? You might have been too young to know what that was at the time, but it was when I was a... Oh, I didn't know that. Like, it was, okay. that was when I found out what blackface was. It was a... It was... There was an awkward conversation with the parents. Wow. Was the conversation, Mom, why are you... Like, wh why is that funny, or... Well, yeah, why is that... Well, no, it wasn't even that. It was like, it was like, what is... Why did he? Why would he do that? That that seems right. really weird and wrong. She's like, well, in the old days, and that's how we learned about racism. Ah, yeah. Heated topics discussed today. Wes, what's going on in the chat? Anything exciting? Yeah. Uh, user Quasler wants to know what kit would you guys recommend as a beginner build? Uh, I um, think that the X-wing is the an X -wing. awesome beginner build. If you want to do Star Wars stuff, if you don't want to do Star Wars stuff, stuff. Um, how much, that bus was a hundred bucks, right? The bus was a hundred and twenty dollars. The uh, and it's very detailed. The uh, expedition space shuttle is hundred dollars. Um, I think a beginner build probably is fifty bucks, though. That's that's kind of yeah, where I feel exactly. Like a good I, th I think a hundred dollars is it's a lot to spend on a Lego. So the, the, piece, sure. the piece that started it for me was I built the uh, Lego Architecture White House, which mm -hmm. is about fifty bucks, and that's a really nice piece. Um, yeah, so, the, so there's some good stuff in the architecture series. Some of those creator kits are around 50 bucks. I know Flo bought something that is um, that was around 50 bucks. And the neat thing about those creator kits is that they're three yeah, things in one. I was going to say, one. if you don't want to spend even 50 bucks for your first piece, you can get some creator kits that start at around $12, $15. And you can build those three different ways. So it's pretty good value, too. Yeah. yeah. Although it, it's tough to bring yourself to take Lego apart once you've you know spent hours building something. Yeah, I'm really boned here. Then yeah, even if you know you're going to rebuild it in another configuration, it's like right. you don't want to unbuild right. it. Well, prying stuff apart, it, it's, it, it just shows that, you know, get, we, get one of these things. They're $2 at the Lego store, and they you know, make we, we as beings like really constructing easy. things and not destructing, destroying things. <laughs> That's the deconstructing word things, for. unless you're. Well, deconstructing you know, is different. I know. Then you're a snobby film major. Well, or a chef. User Random Battle wants to know Tron Lego, yes or no? Mm, yeah. I think no. I, I, that's I something that would be fine as a MOC, like to see the um, the MCP as an MOC. You're, 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 that's no, don't don't don't. You're going initial crazy, Chan. Um, I don't. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the Tron stuff. I mean, I think the new Tron movie was nice and all, but I don't think that that universe is robust enough to support Lego. Yeah. I mean, the interesting thing about the Star Wars stuff is that they literally just added, they said they're making more money now on Star Wars Lego than they were when they started. Like, it's a market that's grown. And in order to get, like, you got to have a bunch of different characters and toys and stuff in order for that to, to work. Now, Gary, I have a question for you. Uh, are you interested in Technic? You mean Lego for big kids and grown-ups? Um... That's an interesting question. Uh, yeah, Technic's been around a long time. I, I remember Lego Technic I was, I, when I was a kid, and I was kind of afraid of it then, mm -hmm. and I'm a little bit afraid of it now. Why are you afraid of it, Gary? It, it, uh, yeah, it's curious, because like, you're excited for something like the Raspberry Pi. Because Pie. it's very complicated. It's got like you know, real engineering and mechanized, you know, motorized moving parts. It's a little... It just seems a little bit kind of, I don't know, dude bro. Like, it's all very... You I think know, engineering kind of is dude bro? And, big pickup trucks and things. I don't know, there's something kind of whimsical about Lego that I like, and I feel like Technic is is not that. Hmm, too serious for Gary. Okay, that's fair enough. I, this piece is really not here, dude. I'm I not am, manly enough for it, basically. I am boned. Well, the engineering side, I mean, I, I wouldn't describe engineering as dude bro, but, I mean, maybe. Um, I wonder if this, I had a bag that was torn Ow. open that I didn't realize was torn open when I was carrying shit back and forth. Okay. I wonder if a piece fell out as I was walking and I didn't notice. Uh oh. Yeah, because it's it is. I'm like 99% sure that it's not here. Oh, fudge. What'd you do? I think I made a mistake. 
Oh no. Oh, I have to go back step. I don't think it's going to make any difference at all. I think that the outcome remains the same. Um, is, does anybody in the chat see the piece I'm looking for, Wes? I have not seen anyone make reference it to it. It is this piece right here. I don't know if you can see. It is one of these. I have three of them. I need one more, and it seems to be missing. And I've sorted in everything at this point. So, I mean, I've not done a complete sort, but it's mostly sorted. The Lego, uh, the, lo uh, the Bricks by the Bay convention coming up. Yes, yeah, so are you going to go to that? Absolutely. I heard that there was a really, uh, Stephen Lynn said that there was a really, yes. really long line. I was just line. saying earlier, we need to go to that. Yes. Yeah, I, I don't care if there's a long line. Uh, I'm excited for that. It's March 18th, so it's uh, about oh, three so weeks it's away. coming up. Sunday. Two weeks away. Wow. I, I, will, be, I will be in the city for that. Uh, oh, well, it's in uh, yeah, we San go. Jose, but yes. <sighs> oh, man. Got to pry some Lego off. How many, do, you need your, do you have your prizing I, tool? I, I do have my tool. Um, I literally, I, I don't know what to do, because I can't really go forward without this piece. Uh oh, yeah. I'm gonna have to drive down to the Lego store in Santa Clara or wherever it is, Hillsdale, San Mateo, San Mateo, and uh, get a replacement piece from them. Hopefully they'll have one. Explain that I'm on a live TV internet show. Uh, probably stream the whole thing. Although they they they're big on no cameras at the no, Lego store. No, whatever happened to that piece that you were convinced was missing? Uh, it is missing, and I have I have. I'm actually in the process right now of filling in for it. He's engineering a fix. Yes, I've replaced this one missing six by one thin piece uh, with uh, six little studs down here. Wes, any update from the chat? Did the crowdsourcing help find this missing piece? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, I don't think it's here. I think I'm boned. I think that just means I won't be able to finish the tie advanced. It means I've wasted an incredible amount of time. Are you done? Uh, no, 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 no. There are pieces still here. I'm just saying, I, I cannot help you. No, I know. There's nothing. It's not here. I mean, it's not on the floor. It's not in the bags. I could drop the mic and go walk in the other room and look for it, but I don't. I don't. It's like it's not here. I'm really sad. I am really sad. That really bums me out because the tie advance is one of the cooler parts of this build. Um, let me see if I can. What I can build. Maybe I can work around it. Man. Now I don't remember what I pulled out, even. It seems like hours ago that I started working oh. on this. One, two, uh, three, four. Are you sweating over there, Norm? Yeah, we're under a lot of lights. Yeah, it's pretty weird. I just want to finish this. Much hotter than normal. What are you going to do? Like, have you thought about what you're going to do when, I, when we're done? When yes, you're done and I I'm have, not? extensively. Okay. You want to give a pre, uh, like a preview of what to expect? Hold on, I just popped one piece off. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take a lot of photos of my my uh, superstar destroyer, pose around, fly it around. Um, I mentioned earlier that I, I I think Lego really lends itself to photography, uh, like still photography. So I'm going to take some photos. You're going to take some pictures here mm -hmm. on the set. Yeah, answer more questions. It's, this is all good stuff. Mm-hmm. Quality content. One, two, eight, three, four. nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I wonder how many people at home are actually building Lego right now. If I any. hope a lot. That seems like it would be fun. <laughs> that was our. This that. that I got was some, our, a uh, bunch of people sent me links of of people who were building Lego of their own while they were watching streams of us building Lego. That was our Armageddon moment. Well, what was our Armageddon moment? The uh, the Ben Affleck uh, moment. But I don't understand what you're talking about anymore. Live Tyler Ben Affleck. No, I, I got that part. Because in the part. movie, they go, I, met, I wonder how many people are doing this right now. You oh. guys still have to do that. I'm, I'm, I'm No, do no, we don't. No, we no. absolutely don't have that. to do that. This is a world worth saving. I'm telling people you, I are building Lego financial right incentive now. via Kickstarter. I don't think it's a world worth people saving. People want to see this. Okay, so I am building... Um, Give them what they want. 
Th Gary, I think this is what you want, not what people want. And, I, and, I, and that makes me very uncomfortable. I, all I know is when we put it up for a vote, it was, it was a flood, a veritable avalanche of people asking for that content. Yeah, but people were really excited about this too, so, you know. Rightly so. I don't know that people are the best ones to judge. Yeah, but the Animal Crackers thing wouldn't have to go for 20 episodes. It's a couple of minutes. <laughs> Animal Crackers. Um, have you guys seen Kevin Smith's show? His new show? Yes. Is it any good? It's uh, called Comic Book Man. Basically, it's oh, I think this is podcast a with the dudes that run his store. The four dudes that run his uh, Jane Silent Bob's... I thought they killed that podcast because nobody listened. Secret to Stash. Like Walt Flanagan and those guys, or the other? The, I'm not sure. The West Coast ones. It, it's the West Coast ones, and they just talk and talk about the interesting things that happen to their store. Like, and they kind of stage events. I got Kevin think. Smith knows people, so there was an episode I watched where uh, some guy with a replica Batmobile uh, came to the store, and they drove it around, and then they played hockey. And it's, it's all very Kevin Smith, like self-indulgent. It, it's it's not that funny. Okay. You're really selling this hard here, Norm. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to sell it. I'm saying, you know, we could do the same thing. Did you see You're how we could make something that's not very funny? That now they're doing exclusive clips of The Walking Dead that they're only showing in, in, inside the Kevin Smith show. That's, that's terrible. Yeah, it's on AMC. So I think it uh, airs uh, after The Walking Dead or around, around that time. They're leveraging their big hits to yeah. get people to watch their other shows. Yeah. Well... Although I still haven't seen an episode of um, what's that one called? Justified. No, no, no. The the one with Common. Um, with the railroad. Hell on wheels. Oh. Hell on wheels. Thank you, Wes. The Call Meanie show. Oh, I haven't seen. Call Meanie is the Hell transporter guy from Deep Space Nine. Chief O'Brien, married Keiko <laughs> O'Brien, in TNG. They both went to DS9, and he oh. was Julian Bashir's best friend. And he was one of the few people that stayed to the hey, very is end. Is DS9 on Netflix yet? Oh, it is. Oh, what the heck? I saw it pop that's up the, the other that's day. That's the last. That is the final frontier for episode marathons. We haven't done that one. Yeah, yet. true. Well, we haven't done Enterprise either, but uh, uh, that's not going to happen. That's right? not going to happen. Okay, good. Uh, so what's going to yeah, happen is gonna I'm going to have three. I'm After going... the, the Voyager one, really kind of took it out of me. I, I don't even remember that. It got real dark toward the end, as I recall. Uh, questions from the chat, Wes? Absolutely. We got wow, someone just posted a Lego mosaic Will Smith cum face. That is amazing. Great. That's everything I've always wanted. We have a bunch of questions stored up. Uh, one okay, let's hear some qu questions. for Gary, but you guys could all answer this. Uh, would you consider trying a stop motion Lego build? Would we try a stop motion Lego build? What does um, that mean? Uh, so uh, so uh, a couple of users posted in the forums. There was a good thread about it uh, a couple of weeks ago. I don't think I have the patience to do stop motion animation after having try, tried to do it in the past. Um, it takes a lot of time. Uh, so basically what, what somebody did was uh, every time they put a piece on, they left, the, they left the kit in the same place. And then every time they put a piece on, mm -hmm. they went and, and fired a frame of their, of their the DSLR. And then stitch that all together. And then stitch it all together. It looked like it would have taken hundreds and hundreds of hours, um, which is cool. Not kind I'm of. I'm interested for me. in stop motion animation. Period. Speaking of uh, stop motion Lego, yeah. an old friend of mine that I used to work with on PC Gaming used to make these great stop motion movies using Lego characters. Oh. And um, oh, I'm oh my the God. To chat to it right now. Dan, right? Them off us. It's called Corporal Dan Revelations. Yeah. Was this Dan who yeah. went to be it's a lawyer and? Uh, and I actually did. I I performed a couple of the voice parts. I, I remember one of my first jobs was archiving Corporal Dan videos for the PC Gamer CD. Wow. I have those on my computer still. I think they were yeah. like real media files. Yeah. So he did, he did a bunch and they became more and more ambitious and eventually he did this kind of feature length film. Wow. And um, I'm, I think I'm like the Australian henchman and then like <laughs> some other bad acted character i can't remember you can probably recognize my voice in there somewhere but they're well they're worth watching they're pretty good stories cool. yeah i just Le posted the youtube link into the main tested chat lego uh they kind of encourage stop motion animation i think there are what i think what is it, a spielberg kit or something where you really? can um 
you build like it's it's like a uh, it's like the movies with uh it's like um it's like the Peter Molyneux thing. Yes, like Peter Molyneux's the movies, but uh, with Lego. Well, the thing about using Lego is it's much easier to do that than it is to develop a bunch of clay models and stuff like that. I would think because yeah, the minifigures are already built at least. Um, so here's uh, about three quarters of a tie advanced. It's missing a wing. I'm going to put this in the bracket. User Katz uh, Akimbo asks, did you guys ever play with Kinects as kids? I totally had Kinects when I was a kid. It was really awesome. The, the, those, are the, those were the kind of, uh, uh, like they were eight-way pieces, I think. Or I'm thinking of uh, robotics, actually. I never played with Kinects. I never had Kinects either. Sorry. Um, OK, so I'm moving on to page 220 now, making real progress here. Two of those. How many pages do you have left? I don't, a lot. <laughs> the final step is on page 260. Oh, hey, apparently the corrected uh, Witter blockhead shirts are going out now. Oh, oh. awesome. That's good news. Cool. Um, so the no purple hair. I still think it would have been easier for you I, to just I, dye I, your I hair think purple. I saw a couple of people saying that they had been shipped. It's too bad you were so prissy that you wouldn't do that, Gary. That would have been easier. Yeah, for everyone. Yes. Maybe next Once time. Once again, I spoil everyone's fun. I know. No, Gary's always had purple hair. Didn't you guys know that? Uh, but if you got one of those early, if you got one of the ones that's broken, if you don't know what's going on, if we're, what we're talking about here, if you got one of the ones that didn't turn out right, then you get a new one. We're just sending them out. So um, enjoy your not, enjoy your purple. You can keep the purple hair one. You can make it a shirt for your dog, whatever you want. Um, I think it deserves more than, you know. Well, you don't think a dog deserves a shirt? Yeah, that could be that could be a collector's item in years for, years from yeah. now. Yeah. Just think of how cute Huey would be wearing one of your uh, wearing your face, Gary. Oh, where the hell is that supposed to go? Up there, really? Oh, weird. Okay. okay. Um, what else is going on in the chat, uh, Wes? Hold on. Oh, Norm. Let people enjoy this. What are we? Oh, great. Good times. Wow, that's awesome. What was it? What was it made out of? Stars. Oh, uh, here comes the other big hull plate. It's not the final it's gonna piece. Look I do have more. After this. No, no, I, put, I do have a few more pieces I need to put in, so it's not the final section. But this is the last major section. Oh. This is it. Now the application of this. Oh, you know what? I affixed one of these pieces incorrectly. Oh. Bup, 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 bup. User my nice ice life asks. Uh, nice job, Wes. Yeah, sorry about that. My nice ice life asks, when did you put your first Lego sets together? Um, I have no idea when I yeah. got my first. I was very young. Uh, probably I had Duplo Duplo kit pieces in my Lego bin, so probably I had Lego. When w I was. was there a time when Lego just wasn't popular at all among the kids, like during the Pokemon era, maybe? Fucking Pokemon. Can we all agree? Wait, I kind of like Pokemon, actually. I, I got oh, it. my God. <laughs> oh, 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 just oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, that would have oh. been so good. So good. This table is really light. That was very, very nerve-wracking. Oh, Nor uh, Wes, what's going on in the chat? How do people feel about Norm's... Uh, that would have been the most hand, genetic, amazing twist Ultimate fail. <laughs> I got to sit down. Norm, do you have the adrenaline pumping? Is that what's happening over there? You seem like you're panting right now. I, I, I thought I was going to knock over the table. Did you get a adrenaline hit there? Yeah. <laughs> that was real close. Everyone in chat is freaking out, and a couple that, people even, are Even I did. Pokemon. That was terrifying. <laughs> are defending Pokemon? <laughs> okay. That was terrifying. I don't know how that looked on the screen, but basically the table went on two legs. For a second there. It looked fucking scary. You did a table wheelie. Oh my god. You should be more careful, Norm. User Panda Shake asks, what Lego, Lego kits did you covet as kids that you never got? 
Uh, I loved those those space ones. You know, yeah. the the astronaut ones. Yeah, not the science fiction, but real space. Yeah, I always thought those were super cool, and I never had any of them. I don't think I can't remember. It's just one of the many many wrongs I've uh, you know saved. Let's see what else? Am I missing a piece here? I forget one. Oh, down here. Oh God, I can't. Okay. No, I gotta flip this around. You should be careful, Norm. You know what I'd like to see? I'd love to see some Aliens oh, look at that. Lego. That looks beautiful. I think Aliens Lego could be really cool. Like uh, like Cameron second movie. Like a Sulaco would be really good. Wow, that looks really good, Norm. Watch it, Norm. Almost there. Stay on target. Norm's making me nervous in this final stretch here. It's pretty nerve-wracking. I'm Take sitting right here. Oh, I gotta snap pieces together. It's a problem. Yep, it's hard assembling pieces. I'm feeling like I might be able to come from behind in a last-minute burst here, especially if you had knocked that off and it had all exploded. I mean, Norm almost spectacularly unbuilt the entire thing just yeah. a moment ago. Yeah, it was... It was uh, I would have been sad for a moment and then, you know, moved on with my life. Hey, over the line, Chen. Over the line. Yeah, and I'm a little nervous because it's not locked into that front support right now. It's just kind of yeah. resting on it. I feel like it could still fall apart. I don't think it locks into that front support, does it? It just rests no, there. No, it, it kind of goes through these two holes, but it's not very level. I think that's how it's supposed to be. There it goes. Hmm. One's better. Wow, that was close. I still have pieces. This would have been much more entertaining okay, if you had knocked that off. You know. Everyone at home would have had something to Can be I excited about. Can I knock any about. pieces off the table? A dark gray one, not a black one. Where's my, where's my Bosk? I think Bosk, oh, here it goes. Aha, found him. favorite is Admiral Piet because he is exclusive to this set. All right. Oh. Page 218 out of 221. Basically oh, have so two close. more pages left. I'm trying, I'm trying to go as slow as possible. It doesn't matter. I am incredibly far behind. User Mento wants to know if you guys have played the uh, Lego Traveler's Tale yeah, games. Yeah, Will, are you just going to complete this offline or what? No, I'm going to keep going until it's done, Gary. Yeah, Will's got to keep my book. Completion. Completion the, is the, the theme end. of today's oh, episode. To the grim death. Uh, yeah. The question from the chat was whether we played the Lego Star Wars games. Yes. The Traveler's Tales. The answer is yes. Uh, the answer is yes for Will. Have I, you not played I've them? not played all of them. I've not played all of them. There's, a, um, there's like seven of them or something now. I'm, I'm missing another I've played piece. them. They're great. They're really yeah. good. Um, well, they're kind of up and down. The, the newer Clone Wars ones I don't like as much, but that's partly because of the material, I think. But yeah, the like the the, the original series ones were fantastic. Um, I wonder if I yeah, missed the a original bag trilogy of ones are great. They're really good if you like to play co-op too. Mm. Oh, good to know. All right. Norm, well, yeah, I'm missing a that, like, shitload of pieces. I'm putting in the second to last piece. Oh. Second to last piece. Did you knock one of my bowls off or something this when thing. you started shaking the tables? Put that onto the back. I think this just goes right in here. It actually locks both of the back uh, the panels together. I gotta spin this around again. Making me kind of nervous. Be careful. This is a not light. 
Yeah, it weighs about four four kilograms, as I recall. Ha. Huh. Um, dude, I don't. I'm missing more pieces. This is really bizarre. Um. I'm gonna. Hey, can uh, the control room kill my mic? And I'm gonna walk into the other room, make sure I didn't miss a bag. It's actually very difficult. So, oh, jeez. I think Will just doesn't want to be there when you place that final piece, Norm. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait yeah, till wait. I'll wait till Will comes back. Uh, here's that piece. Yeah, Will should be forced to watch as you apply that final brick yeah, yeah. and and place the final nail in his Lego coffin. Thanks, Gary. Our friends. No good place to grip either. The thing is, Lego has a lot of surface area. Oh, I found the piece I was missing. The, the okay, one from way before? Turn, turn me back on. No, no, not the one from way before. Turn me back on it. Let's go to the other room. Lego has so much surface area that it's, it's Thank you. difficult to preserve it. I, I can have it out in my um, living room, but it's going to get very dusty. All right, that piece is fixed. Basically connects these two panels together on the back. Good. I'm going to move this. This should be like when they do those cake baking shows where in order to finish you have to move the entire finish. I think that's a good idea. Table and it has to remain stable. Yeah. That makes perfect sense to me. Pretty stable. And I got the last one, two. What are the last pieces? Three, it four. It looks good to me. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Last 24 pieces. Wow. How does this feel, Norm? Describe, describe the feeling Please. in your heart right now. You oh, feel vindicated? I, I knew I was going to win, so no. Oh, you knew you were going to win. At what point did you know you were going to win? When I, I am Gary, hey, I have this great idea. <laughs> you mean the point at which before I had never built any Lego? Yeah, that one? it's true, Will. Even even during the first ten episodes, when it looked like you were going to run away with it, I would say to Norm, like, "How do you how do you feel? How's your confidence? It's looking pretty grim." He was like, "No, I'm going to win." Like he yeah. he always kept the faith. He never lost the the inner mental game. Yeah, the mistake I made was agreeing to do the more complex kit. In retrospect. Oh, more superstructure. There's some, there's some great Lego porn shots going on right now of that uh, superstar destroyer. Yeah, thank you, Joey. Yeah, and and we got to thank uh, while we're doing this, while we're we're mm -hmm. I don't want to say we're wrapping this up, because I'll no. be here for like four more hours. Oh my god, dude, it's gonna be forever. Like this is, I hope whoever's in the control room doesn't have plans for tonight because uh, so you might as well settle in. Um. I get some ice cream. I'm gonna go get a cup of coffee in a minute. Oh. Uh, Thomas has been on, I think, on the controls on every episode I think we've done. Uh, so thanks to Thomas for uh, putting up with this kind of ridiculous thing on a day-to-day -day basis. And Vinny and Drew and Joey have been coming in and helping and subbing in at different times mm -hmm. uh, throughout the adventure. So, so big thanks to those guys. Oh, and Daniel too. God, I can't forget Daniel. Um, how would, you, uh, how would you rate the success of this whole endeavor out of from 1 to 10? 1 being absolutely awful, 10 being a, a, uh, a On a personal triumph. level or No, I, I mean it's been fun. I think it's I think we did it. 9. Think, 9, really? Out of 10. Wow. Don't don't you don't inflate the scale there, Chan. I would give it a 9. I, I set the bar high for next time. Um I, okay. I'll go on the easy grading scale and give everybody a 9. Um, no, I think it was good. I think it was fine. It was it was pretty much what was expected, I would say. Oh yeah, I, I'm I'm even um, using my extra pieces. When uh, when I hosted the podcast last week without you, Will Norm and I gave each other an A, so we did. Uh, great. I think you did, guys did a really nice job on the no, podcast. It was an A minus, Gary. There was a lot of uncomfortable staring, though. I mean, I'll be honest. I watched, and you guys just kept gazing into each other's eyes and getting lost. It was a little weird. Well, that's why we need that third man, that buffer, to break eye contact and, and break the tension. Now, Gary, and the viewers out there,
Yes. Team Norm. Team Norm. Yes, Norm. Are you addressing I'm, your team? Yes. Your supporters? And, and those of you who uh, now, hold on. want to make a last minute switch. The, no, last the Norm Nation. Switch. Do you, are, do you welcome those people, the, the uh, Johnny Come yeah, Lately's? Yeah. Absolutely. Wow. That's it. No second class citizen status. Norm, Full first class there citizen. Are, there are a lot of fair weather fans out there. I have seen a lot of people switch to Team Norm in the that's, last few episodes. That's fine. Norm is a gracious norm. The Norm Nation, as Gary said. And I think that's I think that's a combination of Norm. Some of those are fair weather fans because they're seeing Norm clearly starting to things coming in his favor. But yes. I think it's also people that can't take Will's unsportsmanlike behavior anymore. <laughs> I don't want to hear it about unsportsmanlike behavior. Wasn't. Norm, the only reason Norm wasn't participating in unsportsmanlike behavior is because he set up the whole competition in such a way that he could was sure he could win. He said it a minute ago, even. He said, I knew I was going to win from the time I envisioned this, comp this competition. Because we all know there's one thing that Norm That's loves. That's simply because Norm is all about winning, and he's right. got a positive mental attitude. No, it doesn't. It, no, he doesn't have a positive <laughs> mental ad attitude. You Norm know he doesn't have a positive mental attitude. Why enter a battle you cannot win? Right. It's that he... He has PMA. What's PMA? Positive mental attitude. Uh, that is something that he does have. Um, is that a positive mental or? attitude. The Norm Nation. To the Norm Nation. Address your fans, Norm. First of all, I'm going to put, it, I'm gonna put in the second, the penultimate piece. Oh, boy. The Star Destroyer that I built in this episode is... two, or episode one, I guess. Uh -huh. The first build episode. That's the Destroyer. first thing you built, right? The very first thing I built. Yeah. That actually I did not complete. I had to add on one more piece. Yeah, you complete didn't complete it, it until halfway through. Is going to go on the Star Destroyer right now. I can actually put this anywhere. Oh, you know, there's a specific place for it. Okay, fine. There's always a specific place. All right. In that case, I'm going to put it on this side. Oh, no. Well, it has, no. It has this to is go a great little piece as well. I love that it they always give you a goes in a specific regular place. regular-sized Star Destroyer to kind of fly escort to the big one. Yeah. I think that's pretty cool, actually. It's nice that they give you something really inconsequential and easy on the first, very first thing to make you feel better about oh, what's Oh, that come. is so cool. What the hell is this thing? I don't even know what that is. Norm, given given that you wound given that you wound up with a fairly comfortable margin of victory, are you do you now regret putting your stickers on in a bit of a rush when you felt rushed earlier? You mean doing that a half-assed job that of that it? That is uh, that is one 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 regret. And I will show the stickers. They're not that. Bad. They're pretty bad, dude. I would be really sad if that was my. Uh... Oh, you know what? I can give you some extra lighting here. I remember some of them being pretty wonky. Gary, how was my sticker placement? So I have control panels here. And I, I, I do admit. I haven't seen much of your sticker placement. I think they, it looked pretty good. Yeah. Look, they're all right there. Bad. They're perfect. It's, it's, it's not perfect. Uh, if you look at the panels here on this wall. Actually, you know, you know what? Norms, norms look pretty good, too. Yeah. Mm. Some of the norms were pretty. Uh... Here it goes. Here's some. These stickers are good not job, bad. Good job, Norm. Yeah. I, I wouldn't say they were. I, I'd say I could have spent a little more time with it, but. Uh, they're not terrible. They're not. It's not completely off. I love this little control, this little control area because I could put. Uh, some people have really done. Some people have done a bit of internet detective work here and extrapolated the number of pieces that Will has left from where he is in the. That's a probably manual. a pretty good. Oh good yeah, thing Will to has do. about five hundred pieces left. Yeah, I told so you. If you do account for the See. the piece differential, Will oh, actually okay. is technically ahead. Yeah, but the, there's none of that. We didn't. We we decided at the beginning that it was going to be uh, a fair fight, and that this was fine. I'm just trying to give you something to cling to, Will. I appreciate that, Gary. It's nice of you. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't fit with the dudes inside, unfortunately. Um, and also remember, I did the X-wing, which is a more complex piece as well. No. Whoa. All right, so. The Star Destroyer. Yeah, well, it would have been more complex if you hadn't gone out and bought one to build as a practice first. Well, in fairness, I bought one before we decided to do it as a, uh, as a challenge. And then I had to sit there and look at it, saying, Will, Will, come build me. And I couldn't build it. I was, I was really sad. Put this back on top. Oh, that goes over. Right. This is it. The final. It's a, it's a really beautifully impressive model. The Super final Star Destroyer piece. when it's finished. It's, I've it's, seen it's this. a thing of beauty. In person at the Lego store, they have one behind glass at the San Mateo Lego store. Yeah, you were up there with that little kid pushing your face against. But the now glass. there is no glass between me and the Super Star Destroyer. 
hot in real life. Had it. Gross. You've earned it, Norm. Enjoy it. So Congratulations on your on your Will? Uh, on your victory, Norman Chan. Page I'm still building. 220. Yeah, is this enjoy and have fun? Is the final piece. There are four studs on top. <sighs> they will connect to these bottom pieces right here. They're going in. I'm going in. Easy. And that is it. That's it. Don't clap. Don't clap. There's nothing worth clapping for here. Long. This is the saddest clapping I've ever heard. Oh. Epic victory. I'll be here building. Still building. Oh, look at that final tracking shot there. Forever alone. Taking in its full grandeur. There. Let's give you some stats. Oh boy. Are you gonna read the are you gonna read the panel? Look at how crooked your label is. The superstar destroyer, the executor. executor is 19,000 meters long. That's, that's a lot of meters. Scale here. I'm not sure what the exact scale number is. 49 inches long on this table. Um, Made with 3,182 Lego pieces, some extra, including figures, the minifigs. It is the longest single thing that Lego has. Really? In length, not in terms of number of pieces or weight. I think it weighs just over 10 pounds. I love the last page of the kit, which tells you every single piece that's in the, uh, that's that's Including in, the in, one in that the you package. lost? Did I put this on the right way? Now this kit comes with yeah. Dengar, no, new version of Dengar. No, getting that thing home in one piece? Uh, I, I don't know, I gotta take it on Muni or something. Maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe Bart. Uh, I'll need, a, I'll, I'll need a, a bodyguard. You need a cut, you need so, somebody to run cover? Yeah, not during rush hour, because that get, we bus that, gets really think? packed. Uh, Darth Vader, Bosk, Admiral Piet, which is exclusive. Don't drop that, Norm. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a, a quarter Oh, here's Vinny's quarter right there. Why are you taking Vinny's quarter? Get some uh, lighting on top of that. How are you feeling, Norm? Hold on. Do you feel like you've accomplished something? Is there <laughs> joy in your heart right now? It's like I'm debuting this at the, uh, the World's Fair. I was enjoying being done. Yeah, it's a nice feeling, right? I wouldn't know. <laughs> I'll just I'll just be here for a while now. Can I play with your set? Uh, would you like to come over and help uh, sort and build, Norm? Should I help Will sort? No, you're not allowed to touch my stuff. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna rotate this around. The, just sit there the and try to there. play with your toy. a very solid piece of, of Lego. I gotta make sure not to, to stand off. Oh, 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 That was, that's, this is, this is all gonna end in tears. <laughs> so Gary, you have each of these at home, right? Or I guess Leah has, a, has the Death Star, right? Uh, we've muted Gary. He's uh, he's temporarily not with us. So, which of these kits are you going to build first, Gary? Um, I don't know. I mean, the Death Star is really for, that's that's Leah's, so she'll build it whenever she wants to. And oh, okay. I will build the Super Star Destroyer once I've built up to it, and I've got a lot of smaller pieces to build before I feel confident enough to do the, the Star Destroyer. So it may be a while. I think I've earned this <laughs> with your purchasing power, my building power, by spending a lot of money. 
You have special status. Does that give you special status? Like, do they say, yes, Mr. Uh, Chan, no, Mr. Lego Chan? VIP. When you go into the store, do they facial recognize you and know who you are? This is almost as fun as when I beat Brad at StarCraft. 